a chief executive officer, we've just been informed by the media, was earning 75,000, you know, Ghana cities a month. Would you attribute this to some administrative lawlessness or corruption? It has to do with a group who felt that Ghana must be privatized for their own good. It is inconceivable when the president of Ghana is paid what? 20 what? 22 so thousand. I don't say that, you know, Cocoa Marketing Board should go that way. But to say that, you know, Opuni, a medical officer who by political connection goes to FDA and then because he was misbehaving there, going to cross uh, Tobinko, I mean, like a rogue, go, is then transferred to, and then you pay him 75000 If it is true, it is scandalous. It is just scandalous. Cocoa farmers are languishing. And you sit here in the four, stay in the best houses, four wheel drive, everything free, and you take 75. For me, it is not corruption, it is not deserving, it is really something which is criminal. But the fact is that people are saying, yeah, if it was rightly done, rightly done by who? Whoever will pay the Cocoa Marketing Board Chief Executive 75,000 a month under our circumstances. And under his watch, every year, the cocoa output fell virtually. It's not something we should entertain at all. Uh, it's, it, there are certain morality. We are not talking about legality. It's immoral. In the same vein, we have MPs who fall under a particular article and Oh, sorry, under the uh, Chiresi, you know, uh, report, who are also in court, also demanding their due. And people are debating it and they are saying, well, if it is their right, give it to them. And that has to do with if you are 50 and above, uh, then you need some dispensation. Do, what, what do you make of that too? Well, actually, I saw it in the papers today and I saw two of my... Uh, I could say my mentors in front there, Osafu Mafu and then uh, Honorable, uh, what is it, the NDC second uh, uh, speaker, what is his name? Uh, anyway, in, in the graphic, in the front of the graphic today. I, it raises a lot of questions. If it is their due, why were they not paid? Why is that they are waiting till now for you to accumulate that much before, or they wanted you to be big enough before they go to court? Or now they think that it's easier to go to court because there's a rule of law. Well, so, they, they are saying that they started it last year, February. Yeah, last year, February, but we are talking about eight years ago, yeah. and that things, I mean. So it's, there are more questions than answers. I personally think that it's a question of whether it was their legitimate one why was it not paid? Why was it allowed to accumulate interest to this? And these are leaders of Ghana. Their counterparts were in parliament and other things. It seems that in Ghana, we are making politics the most lucrative <laughs> business in Ghana. And that is why we are where we are. Because if you want me to go into politics or become a minister, it can only be for service. Why? Because I can earn more than a minister on my own. So why would I like to <laughs> fight to be a minister? But I would therefore see it as a call to service. But we must be very careful we don't make politics the most lucrative one, which is not actually if they stick to their conditions of service. It's what they get under the carpet. Other than that, I can't see how people, professionals, would be uh, wanting to, other than to go there for service.